With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, so the question is, the greatest and the least magnitude of the resultant of two forces of constant magnitudes are P and Q respectively. If the forces uh, act at an angle of twice of alpha then prove that the magnitude of the resultant is given by under root of p square cos square alpha plus q square sin square alpha so let's see the solution so very simple actually it is given in the question uh, we have the greatest and least magnitude of the resultant of two forces whose constant magnitudes are p and q now uh, if the angle between them is twice of alpha, then we have to prove the magnitude of their resist resultant is this one. Okay, means under root of p square q, uh, cos square alpha plus q square sin square alpha. So, very simple. Re so, uh, let the two forces are A and B. Okay, let's suppose the two forces are A and B. Then, According to question, when we add these two forces, this, this will give us the greater magnitude that is A plus B. While if we subtract them, so it will give us the least magnitude. But according to question, the greatest magnitude is P. So, this A plus B will be equals to P while the uh, least magnitude is Q. So, this will be equals to Q. Right. Now, let's suppose this as equation 1. And this is as equation number 2. So, if you solve equation 1 and 2, so that we get the values of A and B. That is, A will be equals to P plus Q divided by 2. Okay. And value of B will be equals to P minus Q divided by 2. Okay. Now, we have to find here, means we have to uh, prove here the magnitude of their resultant. Okay. So, can I say that? The magnitude of the resultant can be given by modulus of R will be equals to under root of A square plus B square plus 2AB cos of theta. Right. Now, according to this, A square is here we will have under root of. Now, A square, A is P plus Q by 2. So, this will become P plus Q by 2 that bracket is square plus b is p minus q by 2 its bracket is square plus 2 a is p plus q by 2 p minus of q by 2 okay while the angle between them is twice of alpha so this will be cos of 2 alpha okay now, after simplifying it, what we get, that is, uh, here we can take this root uh, like this. So, after simplifying it, what we get, that is, under root of p square by 2 plus q square by 2 plus 1 half of, in bracket, p square minus q square into cos of twice of alpha. Now, if we will use the trigonometry formula here, so what we can write that is this will become under root of p square by 2 into 1 minus cos 2 alpha uh, or we can sorry this will be 1 plus cos 2 alpha plus here this will become q square by 2 1 minus cos 2 alpha. Okay, now by using trigonometry, 1 plus cos 2 alpha can be written as 2 cos square alpha, right? And this 1 minus cos 2 alpha can be written as 2 sin square alpha. So, here this will become under root of p square by 2 will be as it is 1 plus cos 2 alpha is nothing but 2 cos square of alpha, okay, plus q square by 2 will be as it is 1 minus cos 2 alpha is 2 sin square of alpha. So, from here this 2, 2 will cancel each other and finally we get under root of 
p square cos square of alpha plus q square sin square of alpha and this is what we have to prove and hence proved okay so this is the required solution for this particular question i hope you will like this solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today